Welcome, this is Guido72 with Three Point Park and today we're going to be highlighting those redheads. Uh, we're going to show two attacks, one with Steven and one with Bohemian, Ben the Bohemian. And we're going to get started first with Ben on his uh, Town Hall 9 attack. So Ben, <coughs> uh, Town Hall 9, um, level 15 and I can't recall uh, his uh, his uh, queen uh, level there you go 13 level queen so I thought this was pretty impressive going against a level 24 archer queen he st starts off first uh, patiently creating a funnel um, with Valkyries you gotta make sure your funnel is precise wide enough or they will run um, Ben does a good job clearing off the southern buildings and then uh, when he starts this funnel at the top, he's going to make sure he leaves one building at least as a breadcrumb, so to speak, to lead the Valkyries, the heroes, into the core. Because that's what you want to do with your uh, Valkyries. That's why you bring them. They take up eight <laughs> housing spaces. You want them in the core uh, taking on those heavy defenses or the uh, heroes. So he drops uh, his two golems and then notice the wizard up top. He dropped the wizard up and over so that it would only take out that one storage and now he drops his Valkyries. They they you, go straight to that first storage and then the next available building uh, is leading into the core. Down goes the heel to protect them because they're getting uh, pummeled by uh, those two Expos and the Archer Queen uh, dealing with the clan castle he drops his jump spell and then in goes and down goes <laughs> in goes the Valks into the core and down goes the enemy archer queen um, they're gonna make their way uh, after they clear this particular uh, this this uh, little spot they're gonna make their way into the next expo and Tesla's clearing that area out he dropped a heel to refresh his uh, uh, Valkyries because that's what you gotta do um, they're going to nerf that a little bit. Well, they're going to lower their health a little bit. So you really got to pay attention to healing um, Valkyries, just like you did Hogs. You know, they're tough little girls, but, you know, you still need to keep them healed if you want them to uh, perform for you. And then I like what he does here on the end. He take, After those last air defenses go down, he comes in with balloons to assist um, his heroes with uh, cleaning up the rest of the base. Now his queen, she found a nice wall that she likes, so she's going to punch on that for a while. Um, he brings in some, he, he still had plenty of uh, wall breakers, so he wall breaks out his king. Uh, so his king can, you know, at least come out and attempt to start cleaning, but the king says no. He likes the other walls up top too, so he's going to go back and punch on some more walls. But no, nonetheless, he got plenty of balloons. Um couple wizards on the outside, a couple Valks take care of his cleanup. Great attack there, Ben. This next attack is going to be by Steven. Uh, this is a very strange looking anti-3 base, uh, but um, it can be taken out several ways, and I like the fact that he brought Valkyries for this. Now Steven's a 9.5, some may look at this as a bully attack. I, I, he doesn't have all his camps up, um, so I don't consider this that much of a bully attack. Just He just brings in an extra spell than a Town Hall 9 would, would bring. Um, so he starts his queen walk up top, and uh, he's gonna start getting hit by a few, quite a few defenses, three defenses, so he's gonna have to use his queen ability early. Um, just to help his queen stay up for the walk because he wants to walk down to three o'clock before he starts in with his uh, his uh, coring troops his golems and his valkyries so as his queen is nearing uh, the corner of his entry he's going to now start uh, dropping his uh, funneling troops on the south side so he drops his first golem and a couple wall breakers just to you know, help make sure that they're going to try to go inside that particular chamber. There's only a couple buildings in there, so you need to start with his funnel 
er, now. So that's what he does. He's got a couple wizards down just to make sure the queen doesn't walk. So the queen with the healers and the golem tanking takes out that Tesla farm. And now he's going to start on the uh, bottom chamber where the archer queen and barbarian king are at. Uh, he creates a little funnel and then comes in. Because all those buildings are stacked, he's able to come in with his uh, Valkyries. They get aggroed uh, by the Archer Queen and immediately go in and target those heroes, take them out. Um, he's still not too worried about the uh, Valkyries coming back out of the chamber, although I have seen that done before. <laughs> so he reheals his uh, Valkyries and look at the placement of this jump spell connecting all three chambers the chamber that he's in and the two chambers on the uh, right and left sides of it and the timing was perfect because if he didn't have an out for those Valkyries they may have backtracked so it was great timing on on his uh, jump spell as well as the length that it would take for his Valkyries to clear those chambers and and uh, make use of that jump spell so they were able to go through the top right chamber and then back over to the left chamber to clear those out and pretty much that's it um, he, he, his queen no, no longer has any healers available but the Valkyries are still tanking and the wizards are cleaning up on the outside he dropped his final heal uh, just because that wizard tower and uh, archer tower was targeting his uh, Valkyries. He still has a golem that he had to tank for him. If if you know his Valkyries had died, down goes the swag poison. Take care of the uh, pups that finally popped, but that was enough. The Valkyrie splash damage took out that wizard tower, and that is all. Those redheads are tough, and they're going to get even tougher after Monday's update. Three point out.